Hey everybody, welcome back to the backyard. I got another video for you today. Uh, today we're going to be going through navigating the pond. This has actually been a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time and I had someone reach out saying uh, that, you know, I should do one. Kind of showcasing how to navigate the pond. And I think the pond is actually a wonderful place uh, in the backyard. Um, you know, if you hop in there early in the morning when the sun's hitting it, it's, it's really magical uh, in the way they kind of do the music, the development developers did a really good job with that. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is talk about items that you need for the pond. So um, I already have my upgraded items here, but this will work the same if you have a hammer, regular ax, shovel. You can't use your you know bow or anything in the pond, so that's not really relevant here. Um, and lighting, you know, you can use um, you know slime mold torches, but this is what you're going to aim for is these lanterns. And right now, for the case of this video, I have my basic red ant armor just to start off with because I'm going to show you how to start and you know what tools you're going to look at. So, um, first things to that that you're going to aim for in the pond. Um, what you're going to need right away um, is uh, you're going to want to shoot for uh, fin flops, which require uh, water, uh, water boatman fins, uh, earl grass, strand, uh, lily pad wax, if I'm pronouncing all that correctly. Um, you're also going to aim for this item up here, which is the bubble helmet the bubble helmet's gonna make such a big difference um, you can go for the gill uh, the gill tube here um, this will help as well however um, I think we can actually we're gonna try to skip this and go right for the bubble helmet that's gonna be our goal here um, because that's gonna be super helpful so I'm gonna show you where to get old grass that's pretty easy the sunken bones are something that took me a while but I'll show you where to find those and the silk rope um, one item that you will need as well to in the pond which is going to be helpful is you're going to go over here to your recipes it's all the way at the bottom and it's this level one pebble dagger um, this is an important item it requires lily pad wax i'll show you where to get that um, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you where to grab that then come back and build it so we're going to do it all in one fluid uh, item and uh, if you haven't build yourself one of these um one of these uh, spinning wheels because you will need this for the spider webs in order to build a lot of these upgraded items to breathe and move better in the pond um, which requires everything that you should already be able to gather right over here um, it's the, uh, the the acorn top the clay red ant part sap and the crude rope all right so uh, man I wish it was morning right now so I can show you what I'm talking about but what we can do is we can start getting some items in the pond and when it gets dark we're gonna come sleep so let's go ahead and let's hop into the water so uh, when you first jump in you're gonna see that you're not gonna be able to breathe as much right away but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over right over to these lily pads here and you're gonna start grabbing these items um, so underneath the lily pads is where you have these uh, the lily pad wax um, and I think these are something you should start aiming for right away in the game, especially because uh, you see that some lily pads have one or two, some have a lot. And based off of all the recipes that we have, um, we're going to need a decent amount. So uh, that's one thing you want to start off with is just collecting the lily pad wax um, and just so you give it time to respawn when needed. Um, another item that we you'll need in, in here is going to be pebble spears as you all know i like my pebble spears i feel like they are one of the most underrated weapons in the game and it's not because they're strong if you just poke someone or an animal or a creature they are don't do that much damage however when you throw it that it's that throw damage and for the cost that it takes to make them and you know you don't really care if you have to make more uh you know it, it's it's totally worth it so now that we got our um our, our wax what we can do is technically build our first item which are our pebble dagger so that's the only item that's pond specific out of this item you can make crude rope with just plant fiber and pebble uh pebbles so let's go ahead and craft that all right now that we crafted that we're gonna go ahead and oh, i already had to we'll just throw it on the ground we'll go ahead and have that item and we're gonna drink some water i just realized i'm holding this gonna throw that down all right, it's getting dark, but we still have a little bit of daylight left. So uh, what we're going to do now next is we're going to hop right back in and we're going to get some of that grass. So right when you hop in, see this right here? This is the grass that you want. Um, just go down and it's these smaller ones. Oh, there's some spiders in here. So just 
if they come after you, just swim straight up. And you're just gonna slash. Slash, slash, slash. And you see right there, I got three. So that's how you that's how you um get the grass. Um it's everywhere down here. We're gonna swim up now. It's getting dark. So we'll we'll go we'll get to daytime. Um whoop, almost out of breath there. Alright, so now that we got our grass, um we can actually look now and in here we can start getting other items so with that um, we can actually start crafting our flit our, our fin flops which should be down here at the bottom oh we need water uh the boatman fin okay so so we could technically craft the ghillie tube oh nope we need silk rope so all this safe. all this is going to be shown in the part once once we sleep. Oh, I had the hiccup. Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and sleep till morning. All right, so now that it's morning, we're going to start hunting spiders in here. Um, so, so you know, come with prepared with a decent amount of spears. Um, and an item that you'll get from swimming in the pond is this uh mertine uh this makes you move a lot quicker um you won't get that right away but the more you swim in the pond you'll unlock it it makes you move better and then from there just make sure you have some stamina items um that help you um if you have one or two mutations it will really help you out because uh the spiders are actually not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hop right down here and we're gonna start looking for um the boatmen um, and the spiders. And so, so for spiders, you're gonna start with one, like here's one right here. And so what we're going to do, if he is he stuck? All right, we, we'll go over here. So we're gonna line up and we're throw spear. Boom, two, three, block. There we go, three. As you saw, it took me three throws to get that, um, that spider and then so what you'll do is you'll develop a timing rhythm with them where you'll see right before you, they attack they have one of the easiest timing to learn um, so you're just gonna throw throw block perfect block so right there that's how you get your web um, and that's also you hit the the diving bell spider chunk there are some items that require that so let's go ahead and let's hop back down and let's get this one so always sneak up on these try to get your first throw in you just aim a little bit lower there we go. You see that three throws really quick. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. And and let me, let me see if I have one of my mutations on just to not mislead y'all really quick. Um, as far as mutations go. Yeah, I don't have right now. I don't have my javelin near on. So that's you see. It's just quick three throws to get that. And also to show you um, my game settings. I I play on the toughest difficulty here. Um, so now that we got um, our diving spiders, you know how to get those. I just showed you. Now we're gonna go hunt the the boatmen, which are these guys right here. They're friendly, so you'll peep them. They're friendly. They just take one spear if you can aim. So one spear gets them for you. And uh, we got our parts and they're all over the pond just like the tadpoles so I think that right there breaks down how to get some of the first key items in the pond which is going to be the boatman um, the spider chunk the spider chunks the web um, the, the grass and the wax and by the way if you ever get hungry the pond has tons of algae you can go ahead and eat that too that that, that will keep you full I put some food, some food over here though, so we're gonna go ahead and eat that. We're that gonna drink some of this water. All right, so now with that, if we have our spinner, we would spin that web that we just got. As you see, I had, I, I picked up, I think, six web from that. So that means, uh, theoretically, we can go ahead and build one of these, which give us better breath. So we're gonna go ahead and build one of those. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna build our fin flops as well. Um, these will give, uh, once you hunt enough uh, boatmen's, uh, the, the eel grass and the li lily pad wax, you can get these two items which is going to push us further to get our our next item which is the bubble helmet once you have the bubble helmet you can do anything in the pond all right so we have our ghillie tube on and what about our fin flops there we go lucky, or just wear some armor. all right uh I, I actually must have forgot to pick up the other web 
So, but I did kill two of those spiders. You typically get three web for each spider. All right, so we are cooking. So let's go ahead and let's let's continue this tour now that the sun's hitting the pond. So in the pond, um, this right side doesn't have too much. As you can see, I can breathe more now right now, by the way. I have uh, 80 um, breath, which allows you to do a lot more. So down here is the bottom of this side. Very, very cool to check out. You have lots of um, clay down here. There is spiders, but you can take them out just as easy as I showed you. Um, over here, what you're going to see is um, just spiders. Go ahead and take them out. But you can go over here and you can go underneath this. And here's a hatch. And in this hatch, um, there's a little base. It's nothing fancy. This is not the pond lab. It's just a little base here. Um, and there's tons of goodies in here that you can get. Tons of like marble and, and items like that. This door is locked though. Um, as you see here, this is one of those assistant manager card um, doors. So you, you need to actually beat the assistant manager in the black ant pile lab um, to get into there. But once you get that card, you can access that part. All right, so we're gonna continue. So we got lily pad wax as you see underneath these. Um, up there is a uh, is a station, so you can go ahead and um, scan items that you discover. So we're gonna go back into the water and we're gonna get back down to the depths. So when you're navigating the pond, look, there's tons of these guys. Go out of one spear. We got them. Let's collect your spear. Where's my spear? I missed it. There it is. When I navigate the pond, I like to stay near the edges because you really can protect yourself. You can, you know, just know what's always to your right and behind you. So you really have to just look to the left. Um, this is actually perfect. Something I didn't discover, discover until way later in the game was um, secrets in the pond. So in the pond, when you're near these edges, what you're going to look for is you're going to look for... Um, what am I trying to see here? They, they look like they have algae and it's like a tunnel. So up here somewhere, let's see, I have my, I have something going off here. Where is it? I'm close. Let me get some air. I'm not breathing correctly here. All right, let's go back down. Straight down. It, it looks like it's dark and scary, but the, the further down you go, you actually can see better. We're going to worry about that milk molar later. Um, I know it's over here somewhere. Um, oh, right here. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. You see in the pond, there's little holes everywhere along the side. So when you swim along it, you'll see them. And you come in here. And it's dark, so we're going to have to build a slime lantern. You do this with uh, the wax mold. Um, I mean, the wax. And this is how you, you come into these these areas. And in this one, there's a milk molar. Some of them have just XP um, items like that. So we're going to grab our dagger. This is why we need the dagger. Because in the pond... Oh, no. All right, we need a level two. There is a level two item. It's the, I think it's the, not the spider. Maybe it's the spider thing, dagger that's a level two, but that allows you to cut these. So we started off with that one to get the, um, to get the grass, but there's an, an upgraded version of it. So, all right, I'm actually going to go ahead and get some air. So you see, when you find these tubes, you can actually breathe and it puts you at a hundred percent, um, a hundred percent, um, oxygen. Another trick that I'm not sure it, that it took me a while to learn is beating the spiders actually puts you at a hundred percent as well. So there we go. He's coming. All right. Aim low. Oh, it bounced off of me. Oh, block. And right here, these are water fleas. They're nothing too special. They, they, they one hit just like the other ones. So I don't need this. I'm just going to grab my spears. There we go. Excuse me. All right, so see how my oxygen went right back to full? That's one of the benefits of killing the spiders is you can swim forever. Just kill a spider every once in a while and you're good to go. Um, so I'm being hunted. Let's go back up really quick. Cause I'm gonna 
I want to give a situation of this part because this part's important. Okay. All right. So now that there's my home base, that's where we went for the station. We just explored all that piece. Now we're working this way in the pond. This is where we're going to start getting to the pond lab area. Um, so for this area, this is where we're going to get those sunken bones. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hop in right here and we're going to dive straight down. Grab some oxygen. You notice I'm staying right here so I can grab oxygen on the way down. And this right here, it's right here. Where's the little Oh, shoot. Ooh, he chased me. All right, hold on. Let me get this back. Oh, missed it. There we go. And bring lots of spears because when you miss throw them they're they're just gone so what you're going to do is you're going to swim right down here underneath this rock bed here and you're going to see this dinosaur and uh this light and this right here takes you to the pond lab so what we're not going to go down there just yet we're actually going to get some stuff here so if you look in the dirt here so we're going to go and pull out our light see this this is how you get fish scales in here so what you're going to do is you want to make sure you bring your shovel and this is where you just dig them up. So just, I think it's two. No, nope, it's three. And you go ahead and get your koi fish scale. And same here. See this? This is the sunken bone. There we go. And these are everywhere down here. All over the ground. So just look for them. Um, here's, see, here's another scale. A koi fish scale. By the way, there is a koi fish that swims around in the pond. Um, that fish... Uh, it it just will like eat you so just swim near it. It's it's designed by that it, it swims around in the pond up oh, and we're oxygen Shoot so Just make it right here make it right here if you don't Come on There we go, um, if you don't breathe in time everything turns black and uh you die but your backpack floats to the top so don't worry it's very easy to recover um but what we're doing right now is we are just getting enough sunken bones so we can build that bubble helmet that bubble helmet um you couldn't you you can start going down to the pond lab however the bubble helmet is a game changer um so it's it's always good to just start by coming down here and farming this stuff up here is another sunken bone that's what we need so just just come down here look here's another sunken bone we just found three and i think three is all we need let's check craft helmet F five. Oh, we need five okay so we're gonna come back there's a chest right there. Oh, look, there's another sunken bone. So I think y'all get the idea, though. So, look, we already found four. And if we were to keep looking down here, but also keep keep an eye out for your oxygen, um, you know, you will find plenty of them. I might lose oxygen. Oh, make it back. It's okay. If I die, it's okay. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I made it. That was lucky. That was super lucky. All right, we're going to go get our uh, bubble helmet. That's going to change things for us. And once we have our bubble helmet, we can do the full tour of the pond because then we don't have to worry about oxygen at all. You'll see how how well it helps you breathe. Um, all right, so just pick up some spears. All your spears, if you miss, they, they typically float to the top. There are times where they won't. It's okay. There we go. Is there any wax down here? No lily pad wax. Okay, none. So just always farm that stuff whenever you can, even if you don't need it, because it, as you see, is some some pieces have tons, some don't. All right. So now we would craft our bubble helmet right here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not gonna waste the materials, but. Y'all get the concept, you get how you craft them. I actually have a bubble helmet over here. I just wanted to show y'all for the first few. So here's what I typically wear in the pond. Just some ladybug armor, fin flops, and the bubble helmet. Nice and safe. You can even have this uh, this chest place. As y'all saw though, I was doing it with my red ant armor. You don't need anything too strong. 
what time is it all right so we have plenty of time all right so now um let's go look we need a level two cutting item to get that milk molar i kind of want to get that milk molar uh what do i need for that level two level two i would need the bone dagger and the bone dagger requires sunken bones in that uh diving spell uh diving bell spider chunk and the silk rope all of this stuff we already i just showed you how to get how to get all of these so if you just take your time um acquiring those you're good so we're gonna go ahead and make one of those to replace our current one and that's gonna help us cut into tier two items and the sooner you can do it i recommend doing it because um because there are lots of places in the pond that um drop that that have milk molars like that that are just tucked away um and you know i i rather you get it while you see it than having to go back because y'all saw i'm pretty far in the game and i still haven't gotten that one because half the time i don't carry a dagger with me um there are other blades but they don't let you use them in the water so you know it's it's super helpful just to to get it over with while you're there. So we're actually going to jump right in and we're going to go get that. So it's over here. I think it's right down here. I'm going to outswim this uh, spider. Yep. And as you see, see how well I can hold my breath right here. Oh, um, there we go. That new helmet game changer. One two three four five that was a lot <laughs> yes all right there we go and so keep a lookout for these little tunnels they are all over the pond just swim near the edges um i'm still looking for the key someone gave me a hint on where the key may be i've, I've been looking for it that's actually found th that those holes they told me they're in a hole in the pond um i still have a few more areas to check uh, i want to make a video about that but once i find it i'll find it um I like discovering things on my own. I'm sure I could probably look it up, but all right. So once we come across over there is that hole we went down. I just went over it really quick to show you a little bit over here. This hatch right here is locked. That takes you into the pond lab until you go through the whole pond lab. That's going to stay locked. However, you will see this hatch over here, which this is going to be very similar to the other hatch that you saw underneath the, um, that concrete pillar. This is an, another assistant manager key card access. So you can't do this uh, until you have unlocked the uh, uh, beaten the, the assistant manager in the black ant lab. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just look over here so as you see the pond gets really narrow so not too much to navigate over here um you know there's a ring over here that you can see just to discover because that actually will populate on your map right there well so you can have a waypoint to know where things are um i pulled out my uh spear by the way because i'm gonna have to fight some of these spiders let's go let's go i'm not afraid of you I'm out of energy. Woo. Oh, there's a lot of them. Apparently, like, he's, like, spear-proof. Perfect block. Right, come on, get out of here. All right. All right, I don't know what's going on, but, um... I wonder if they, like, nerfed this a little bit, because, uh... That's interesting. I've never had them that much uh, bounce off. It's okay. And when in doubt, swim away from the spiders. They're not too bad. You, just, you can swim away from them. Alright, there we go. There we go. And the great thing though, if, you know, if you pull these spiders away one by one, then you don't have to really worry about your swimming that much. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to heal. Make sure you bring bandages. We're going to take a drink of some water. Oh, see, that's the koi fish. Stay away from that guy. He will eat you. He's actually, and I think they built the, the mechanics of him to actually find you. Because he will swim near you. So we're going to go near the oak. Um, right down there was the pond lab. That's where we kind of swim back. So if you go near the oak, there's actually a hole over here. It's hidden. It's right here. This one. 
Oh no, that's not the main one. All right, that's just a regular hole. Um, but no, there's a hole over here somewhere that actually goes all the way into where Burgle is. And it is a very, 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 very long tunnel of doom. Um, there's bell spiders down there. However, there's milk molars. Um, there's a, I think a, a scabby part in there. So it's over here somewhere, but another way to find it is actually going into the oak, jumping down, um, into the, in the lab. Like there's a little part that goes to the ant pile over there. There's also a place you'll find a hole that you can swim through and it takes you through this whole journey, which is really cool to discover. Um, but we're not going to do that right now. All right, as the sun's going down, let's go ahead and let's go on explore underneath where the pond lab is. All right, so we're going to head back towards that's where we got in. These man, these spiders, man. All right, so I think I'm right over where the that entrance is. If you swim down, you can always find this stuff because of the bubbles. The bubbles are how I navigate. You know, but because this tube only goes through certain parts, like you'll learn it. So, all right. So, we follow this down. We're right back down to the T-Rex. And uh, we're going to go ahead and swim this way. So, when you first get down here, having the bubble helmet's very helpful because these aren't turned on um, right away, I believe, if I recall. So what these do is they help you swim faster. However, when they're not on, you're stuck just, you know, swimming all the way here at the bottom. So if you don't have your upgraded breathing equipment, you're in you're in for uh, some fun. Um, not saying it can't be done, but you're really going to have to um, get creative, like make a spider follow you so you can kill it and get um, more air as you go. Um, but here's where you can, you know, just again farm these uh chunks down here um so as you come down here though it's all lit up and then you find the lab and this is the pond lab right here which is really cool um, a lot of this stuff isn't turned on yet so the only place you can really enter is right here um, and so when you enter or you come through this broken part here too when you enter you come up through the lab we're not going to get too crazy. I don't want to ruin the exploring of the lab in here for you, but you uh, you get into this door up here and you're getting to this initial room. Um, you'll have some guys to fight, but once you get in here, um, you'll have to do a power sequence. You turn this on and you have to go swim back out here and turn on the power. Once you though do, once you do get that complete, you have a bed in here to sleep. So um, you can actually explore further and just respawn right back in the pond if you don't have anything above. Um, so it makes this pretty nice. So be, don't be too afraid of, you know, fighting in the pond lab. All right. So we're going to go back down here. So what you'll do is once you turn on that power, it's going to make you go around to all these little knobs like that green knob over here. Um, there's one hidden right underneath there that you'll turn on. And there's one right there. I think that's, I think there's only three. You have to turn all three of those on and that boots up, um, for allows you to access the pond lab. Um, and then you just follow there. And as you explore the pond lab, you get extra entrances. Like I have this entrance up here. Um, part of this became unlocked as you get further into the pond lab. So you can easily just hop right on up and hop right back in, in and out of the lab pretty seamlessly. All right. So now we're going to get into an interesting piece. So, so I got turned around there. So that's where we came in. That's where we entered. So over here, over here in this darkness this is actually just tons of darkness um i'm going to show you all really quick so um you can swim around down here there's scales um there's actually a hatch right there you can see it barely um you can actually enter the pond if not get down here from another place in the pond i'll show you but if you just swim around down here Rattle right wall so we can go back you can see that's what you can always see where you came from so don't worry there's this pillar right here which loops around too takes you right back to where we were see right over there and all this is just a wall and it's not too scary as you can see there's there's like two bell spiders down here um i'm not gonna fight them right now i'm just gonna ignore them so i just want because i'm giving a tour right now so we're going to head right up here 
and over here if I'm not mistaken there's a hatch this hatch I'll show you where it goes this actually just takes you so you get up here you're in a little cool lab here piece and then you have a little scanner you can hop back down and look where you are voila you're back in the main pond you're right underneath um you're right underneath what's that called like it's the it's the fishing net let's go s uh, i'm not i'm not in a place to sleep all right i do want to sleep actually because it's going to make it easier to explore so really quick um i'm gonna speed up the video just so i can sleep and continue back where i left off hang on All right, welcome back. All right, so we went ahead, we took a nap. Um, I actually, you know, uh, got some uh, something to drink and you know, you eat that algae, the algae helps. So we're actually back, we're going back into this dark place. Um, really, under here is just where you're gonna get more, um, you know, koi fish scales, sunken bones. You have this hatch that takes you back to the top. Um, that hatch is cool, but if you actually just swim a little bit further, so you're just gonna swim a little bit further around this bend here you can actually get right back into the pond, um, the main pond as well. So really the difference between the hatch and this, to me, they're like almost the same. So um, I'm gonna swim up to the top here. This takes me right next to the Frisbee. So the Frisbee is gonna be an important um, uh, landmark because the Frisbee signifies the end of this side of the pond. Um, oh, look at that sunrise, it's really bright. All right, so uh, the, yeah, the frisbee sig signifies this part of the pond. Um, if y'all haven't seen my video on where to kill um, orb weavers, this is the side of the pond that we do it on is right here, where it's really easy to farm orb weavers. Just go right over here, go check that video out. That's actually where my second base is. It's just all the way on this side of the pond. So what we're gonna do to wrap up this video, let's go ahead and take a swim on our way back to our main house on the other side, and we're gonna see the in-between, between the pond lab and where we went under, and you'll see how all connects so um it looks like a, a bug fell in the water an infected bug and it died all right so yep we're near the frisbee there's another uh bloatman there boatman i mean um one spear kills them. One spear kills tadpoles. Easy place to get food um when we're coming on our way back here um nothing too crazy we're gonna go ahead and swim up real quick for landmark references we're right next to the can of coke there's the oak tree there's the shed if you go straight down you're gonna find this cool oak log Un let y'all know another place is there's a milk molar right here so bring your level two you're gonna cut some gra uh, some vines there and that's how you uh yet another milk molar so it's important to keep that dagger with you i'm um, just kind of backtracking a bit so that hole that we came up from is right over there that does leave a landmark on your map which is called what is it called Pl sunken pot no you know what? I thought they called it something. I thought you can landmark it. It's okay. Um, however, this is where we came out, um, where I showed you where that tunnel comes out right beneath the, the fishing net. It's not too far from this hole that we came up from right there. Um, we're gonna... Oh shoot, he's gonna kill me. All right, hi, get. Whenever you see him, whenever you see the fish, that's what you do. He can't get you out of these corners, but he will try. And he'll turn around. Let's see. See, I don't see how like he actually haunts you. All right. So we're going to stay here for a second. What I do? I didn't I did nothing. Oh. 
Oh, this is terrible. Come on, fishy. We need to get out of here. He's going to keep coming back. So we're going to go ahead. Um, I can also hide underneath here. This clay pot. That's all it is. Just a clay pot. You can swim through the top hole here to protect yourself from him. Because he's a... Oh my gosh. That's where I'm at. Where am I at? Right there. Here we go. Because he is a hunter. Right near that shovel. That's where what I was talking about. Um, really, the pond's not that big. This is uh, the diamond ring that we showed earlier. The diamond ring. Um, over here is the pond lab right there. There's all those pesky... Uh, bell spiders that get you so really o overall the pawn lab is not that um there's that other access card place it's not super big um the more you learn it the straightforward it is um the tricky part is just following these little holes here on the side um you know there's a lot of little hidden um items oh shoot i'm gonna run out of air sorry i didn't realize how long i was under water because i was running from the fish um but like I said, you'll learn them. I think is this the main one? I think this is the main one. Nope. It's so easy to get turned around down here. You think so? This right here is the scary hole. This one right here. So right away, you'll see that this one, this one keeps going, keeps going. I'm stuck. It keeps going. We're not going to go through here, but it, it it goes into a whole cave system. It's awesome. Um, just make sure you're ready to fight, fight, fight the, the spiders. Make sure that you uh, have your good helmet. Um, it's no good. All right. So we are on our way back to wrap this up. Um, I think we covered everything all the just the general stuff for the pond on how to navigate it stay near the edges that's going to be the easiest way to not get turned around um, and then you'll eventually learn it enough to go in between um, if you need food just remember you can eat the LG and we have already made our way back in no time to where our base is here we are oh wow look at all this wax pick it up here we go and we're back all right y'all well i hope you like this video um drop a like drop a subscribe a comment you know let me know how you're doing in the game if there's any things you have questions on i do my best to respond to everything um you know it's hard to respond to all comments but i'll always do my best i appreciate everyone who checks out the channel i hope you have a great rest of your day and i hope you found this information ha helpful cheers